Hey, how y'all doing this morning? Praise the Lord. I hope you guys are blessed this morning. I know you are because you serve the same God that I do and you're filled with the same Holy Ghost that I'm filled with. If you're filled, I hope that you are. If you are not, amen, I suggest, praise God, that you take interest in being infilled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You can't make it to heaven without it. Come on. <laughs> anyway, this morning I was in prayer and the Lord was speaking to me this morning and one of the things that he was speaking to me is to stop being satisfied with the breadcrumbs that are falling off the table and onto the floor from everybody else amen we consume a lot of material folks we consume a lot of word through youtube through spotify through um tiktok through facebook um sometimes we get so um fixated on receiving word from everybody else and listen to me folks there's nothing wrong with receiving word from from other people i love listening to some sound doctrine amen but it's also important that we use the discernment of the holy ghost to be able to discern what is sound doctrine and what is false doctrine a doctrine of devils there's a doctrine of devils out there there's things that appear good but they're not really good come on well anyway the lord was just uh impressing on me in the spirit this morning that we have to stop being satisfied with the breadcrumbs and we need to get our fill amen god never desired for you just to eat the breadcrumbs off the floor that somebody else has been chewing on he's never desired for you to eat the leftovers if you remember the story the stories in the bible i should say stories there was several of them but the two ones that i want to focus your attention on is the ones when god fed the multitude when they were hungry Amen. He took the bread. He took the fishes. You notice that there was always more than enough afterwards where they picked up the pieces and they collected the overflow. I want to tell you that God has never meant for you to pick up the little tiny pieces of the crumbs off the floor and to go hungry. Some of you are, are malnourished in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Some of you are anorexics in the Holy Spirit because you've allowed the enemy to tell you, amen, that you can't get more, more, uh, of a fill-up that you can't go any further in God. Amen. But if you remember, there was an overflow. Amen. When God blesses, he pours out the blessing. Amen. It's time for you to stop believing the lies of the enemy today and to live in the overflow. Amen. Stop being satisfied with what the world is offering you. Amen. Get in that prayer closet yourself. Get in that word yourself. You can't ride the coattails of somebody else into heaven. I'm sorry. It would never work that way. You got to get in that prayer closet yourself. You got to develop an, a relationship, an intimate relationship with a father yourself. You won't get to heaven on somebody else's relationship. Stop eating the breadcrumbs. Amen. Stop eating the breadcrumbs crumbs that fall under the table. Amen. And start devouring the word of God because I guarantee you that God has set up an all you can eat buffet. But the problem is, is we allow the enemy to blindside us and we stay at the salad bar. Amen. We stay at the appetizer, not even realizing if we would press a little bit further, press a little bit deeper, go a little bit farther in God and take a step of faith that God has some all you can eat steak, some some ribeye, some prime ribs, some mashy potatoes and some gravy. Amen. Stop feasting upon the bare minimum of the things of God. Amen. And go a little bit further in the things of God. Stop eating the breadcrumbs today, folks, and get you some, get you a fill. Get you a double dose of that Holy Ghost. Amen. Stop living in a limited bubble in the Lord. It's time to break out of your bubble today. Come on, somebody, in Jesus' name.